Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, we are live once again from Hobbycraft HQ in a very familiar setup. Um, so as many of you will be watching, uh, we are coming towards the end actually of uh, this year's Great British Bake Off. Uh, we hope you've been tuning in um, and loving it as much as we have. So today we're treating you to some live baking um, and that too, Halloween themed. So uh, very, very exciting. We're joined by Jackie Kelly. Um, Thank thanks Jackie for being back with us. Um, so you are here representing Renshaw, aren't you? I am indeed, yes. Um, so let's tell everyone a little bit about what they can expect um, demo wise today. So today we're going to cover uh, two of the FMM cutters. So mm. you may have seen me do this one with the little fox before, but we're going to go to its new and sparkly big brother, yeah. which also has the unicorn horn or the narwhal horn, because we're not exclusive here. <laughs> and all the sorts of things you can do with this one and a little bit on this one as well, just showing you some different techniques. Great. So we're going to make Frankie as the big cake a little bit Frankenstein monster to get you in the spooky mood. Yep. And then we're going to go on and do some cupcakes. We'll maybe make the little skeleton. But I'll That's also it. teach you how to start using your cutter once you get creative. Once you've made one or two cupcakes and started mm -hmm. using the cutter, you get so carried away with it. So you can do embossing and all sorts of different shapes. So Great. And we're using the Renshaw Ready yep, to Roll The Renshaw Ready to Roll. Yep. And a little bit of the Renshaw Frosting on our cupcakes. And the Rainbow Dust double ended pens as well. Perfect, so there's lots of uh, tips and tricks that you can pick up. And of course, uh, these products are available at Hobbycraft um, online and in store. So um, don't forget, we are live. I'll be reading out your comments. So um, get in touch if you have any questions, of course, about any of the techniques yes. that um, Jackie shows you today. Challenge us. Yes, challenge us, please. Um, and also just let us know uh, where you're watching from, why you love baking. We wanna hear from you. We wanna know also what you're making for Halloween because um, it's looking very spooky around here. So there's lots of inspiration. What... <laughs> <laughs> Where did that come from? Uh, it's a Hobbycraft store, because Hobbycraft is not just for baking, you know. Exactly, so um, we want to hear from you. Do get involved. Um, but in the meantime, shall we start on the um, larger cake using the FMM large cutter, which I'm really excited to see we in action. We shall indeed. So this is a six inch cake yep. um, on an eight inch board. And I used two packs of the 250 gram ready to roll. Mm -hmm. um, and I think you've got an offer on store in that at the moment we as well. have indeed so um, do head on over in store to your local store and also online at hobbycraft.co.uk where you can find the Renshaw ready to roll icing the 250 gram packs are four for six pound fifty right now which is such a bargain that's really good great for stocking up on all the colors because there are so many colors to choose from um, so yeah there's no better time than now to stock up on all of your um, ready to roll icing and you love it, don't you, Jackie? I you just always adore recommend it. it. I, I sort of grew up using this yeah. because it was what my local store stocked and just they've developed the whole range and there's so many new colours coming mm. in. It's just so easy. You take it out the packet, it's ready to go. It may be a little hard when it comes out the packet. You may think, well, this is a little bit firm. Yeah. But just give it a knead, give it, get it up to body temperature okay. and then it'll be lovely and soft and will do whatever you need it to do. So Perfect. I'm just giving the black a little bit of a knead mm -hmm. now if it starts to stick to your worktop don't worry you can put a little bit of icing sugar down and um, i'm just using a little um placemat here to to work on mine so i'm just going to start to roll out and as you'll see from the tools around me you don't actually need that much because this fmm cutter is so clever it's got everything in one cutter mm -hmm. it's just nice and easy so i've got a little bit of sugar glue yeah. and a paintbrush not one that you've used for painting so just make sure it's nice and clean for foodstuffs yeah um a little rolling pin um i use a little palette knife which you've also got these are genius you know christmas coming up you need something in your stocking perfect stocking filler that's the pme little palette knife great just because my fingers are big and it's just nice and easy and then we've got the rainbow dust pens and that's literally all you need for this one so for frankie I'm going to cut out two big eyes in black, two smaller eyes in white, and then two little highlights in black again. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go for the big oval, the little oval, which is the white, and then the little dot, which is the black. Mm. But say I'd covered my cake in maybe the luscious purple, the deep purple, and I wanted to do a Frankie face, on the other side, so this side 
has got all the shapes on it but the other side is just a large circle yeah so you could actually just cut that out and you'd have a perfect large circle to go on the top so you can use so, it both sides yep, which is great it's a double sided cutter mm. so I actually drew round it yes you did and <laughs> made a little Frankie for my apron so lots of uses you don't have to just keep it for baking yeah so that's with felt isn't it you yes just with felt you could use funky foam all sorts of different things coloured cards and paper brilliant so it, lots of different uses mm -hmm. so I'm going to turn it over so that the cutting side is down and I'm going to cut out two big eyes so I'm just pressing firmly giving it a little wiggle just to make sure you've got nice clean edges moving it around it doesn't matter if you cut into your icing a little bit at other places as long as the shapes that you want yeah. are nice and clear and then I can cut out the little dot at the same time so I'm going to go one little dot there and oh look I've got a black eye for that one <gasps> just oh, so easy there we go give it a little wiggle pull it off and this is where my little palette knife comes in because I've got big fat fingers so this just makes it nice and easy and you can pull it away mm. and just lift it off and there are your beautiful shapes all revealed ready to go Brilliant. so a little palette knife I mean you can just use a kitchen knife just tap down on the edges make sure that you've got all your lovely shapes try not to play around with them too much because mm. they do slightly misshape especially we're very warm in here yes, so you, do, you <laughs> don't want them to misshape so you can put your little bit of sugar glue onto the back of your shape because that means wherever the shape ends up you know it's going to stick mm. if you draw it on here you might want to change where the shape ends up so I'm just going to pop it down and all you do is tap it down you can use the heel of your hand you're not using much pressure are you, you don't not at all I kind of want them to stick up and sit nice and proud so yeah. it's not a difficult job and little fingers come in very handy here so you can do this one at home with the kids oh fantastic a um, little bit of child labor fantastic <laughs> we love um we our go. kids halloween crafts we have so much inspiration on the blog and um we get so much inspiration from you guys as well we love seeing what um you guys get up to especially with october half term coming up um oh, yeah. so do uh, let us know what you guys are making um, with the little ones but also for yourself uh this halloween because there are so many possibilities out there um and we have lots of inspiration for you and looking at them looking what, what other people have got up to yeah can really I think, oh i could do that great. in different colors and then i'm just using the paste to tidy up oh, so that handy. you've got a nice clean workbench ready mm. to go now if i'd been sensible there is a downside to working with the black so i'm going to wipe them on my that's apron. why you've got an apron <laughs> absolutely because you want nice clean hands to go in and do a little bit of the white now i'm keeping my paste just out of the air so you want to wrap it back up in a plastic bag because it will dry out in the air mm. so you want to keep it nice and soft so i'm just going for a little bit of white rolling it out and the reason i lift mine up and turn it is i'm just making sure that it's not stuck to my worktop mm. you can just roll it out and keep going so i want two of the middle sized ones so i'm going for this one to go inside the big eyeballs there we go lift them away and flip it over a little bit of glue and it is one of these things you don't need very much glue mm. you just need a little bit pop it on top and you can have great fun positioning them because it really changes him if you put his eyeballs together or if you put them apart you can make him cross-eyed you can make him grumpy or happy yeah you can really change the expression with just a bit of a subtle completely change and then but you see how they're all beautifully cut mm, they're just very neat aren't they oh they look great. such a simple little cutter to use very very clever so you could make it into anything i mean this way we're going to do frankie but if you turned him around to give him black pointed ears using that section you could turn him into a bat you could do all go. sorts of things 
So. You can kind of let your imagination go. Oh, once you start world. going, there will be no stopping you at all. Yeah. It's wonderful. So I'm just going to put that to the side. We'll leave him there. So we want to make him some hair, but we also want to make him some scars. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my black. And you could have cut all of these out in one go, but I'm just going to roll this out and I'm going to go into a big long shape. And we're going to, for the hair, use this. But this is perfect for ears. Yeah. But if you turn it up that way, it's perfect for muzzles as well. You can do all sorts of things with this one. So I know that I want one horn shape because that's how I made his scars. And I need three or four of this shape. So the first one I cut, I'm gonna cut two shapes out in one go. So I've got one hair section and one um, horn section. I'll just take away the excess. And then you can just move it to a different part of your board. Mm -hmm and you can cut out, oh, move over. You can keep cutting out little hair sections as you go. And don't forget guys, these are the FMM um, face cutters. So the original, the small one that we've demoed before um, is just £5.50 at Hobbycraft. And the larger one is actually in stores right now. Um, it's quite a new product for us. Um, the smaller one is available online as well too, so um, do check it out. It's a really good tool, I guess, to just have in your stash because yeah. you can kind of go back to it, um, not just for Halloween, but um, we, did, we did the fox ones last time. There's the Christmassy ones that you can do. There's, you know, you can keep uh, grabbing the face cutter whenever you need it, really, whether it's an occasion cake or for the little ones. Um, so yeah, lots of possibilities. I there. think it's called an animal cutter, but you can make human faces as well. Yeah. It's, it's really not a problem so we're just going to lift these up a little bit of glue whoops <laughs> trying not to drop them but as you can see it doesn't matter if you do no. and then you just start to position them you do need to leave a little gap because you do want to put in some eyebrows and that's when his expression really does come to life so and i'm just folding these over mm. to start on the side design but it's quite nice you know if you're just learning just keep the design on the top of the cake and you don't really need to bother about the sides but as you get good you can move down start playing with the sides but you can see it's just very simple and straightforward so i'm just putting these all on flat but you could curl them up and give them a little kiss curl at the top you could texture them using scrub brush you could do all sorts of things yeah, you've got a few techniques in here as well that yes, I noticed that, that were, were quite coming cool. Under. Now, to make his scar and eyebrows, I'm going to use the horn. So we're just going to chop the end off. You can just use a kitchen knife. So there's one eyebrow. Mm. There's two eyebrows. And down the middle of the horn, we'll make his two scars. That's so, so handy, it's isn't it? so useful. Mm. There are just... I'm going to cut these down a little bit, just not make them quite so big. So, let's put a creepy scar down here. It's quite nice because there's a wiggly line from the horn. And you kind of don't want it to match on the other side. No. Make them look a bit more interesting and spooky. So, I put his eyebrows down, pointing towards the middle so he's a bit angry. So this time I'm going to put them up at the sides and you can see he'll be completely different. And if you've got little awkward shapes like this, you can actually pick them up on your sticky glue brush mm. and that way you don't get your hands all sticky. Ooh. Just like that. And that gives him a whole different expression. Like, hello. Yeah. <laughs> he can't answer back because he's got no mouth just yet. But this will start you off. Now, if you don't have sugar glue, you can use a little bit of water, but just use a tiny little bit. You don't need very much at all mm. just to keep him going. And Perfect. at this point, just sort of step back, have a little look at him. Is he happy? Is he sad? So we move him out of the way. I'm afraid I've got to turn him around towards me for this bit. 
because we're going to use uh, one of these, which is a rainbow dust edible pen. So it's got edible ink inside. Mm. And on one end, it's got a tiny little tip to it. So you can do all sorts of delicate stuff. That's good. They're great for cupcakes and cookies mm. and also writing people's names and inscriptions Very on. Cool. But I'm going to use the big thick end, which is a bit like a felt tip pen. And I'm going to give him... Um, I mean, I'd be a bit confused if I was Frank. So I'm just going to draw over a couple of times. And it doesn't matter if you don't follow the lines. You can just wiggle about. Mm. Great. And make it. And then you can just finish off his scar with some stitches. You can pipe these in royal icing if you're more advanced. Or you can make them in the sugar paste. They're ready to roll if you want to. But you can see just how much fun and detail they can add mm. and it's fast make sure you put the ends on nice and tight go back in your cupboard last for ages and then i'm going to take the red one and spook him up a little bit so we need a little bit of bloodshot eyes so all i'm going is from the end of his eyes into the middle i'm sort of imagining wiggly worms or I'm thinking about um, lightning bolts going up there. We don't want him to be too scary. But then since you're going to bite his head off and eat him later, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> and the icing is quite soft. The ready to roll is quite soft because it's just fresh out the packet and you've just used it. So don't dig too hard with your pen. Just let it lie on the top. We could actually just give him a little tongue as well. You can just have fun with it, can't you? Oh, you can get completely carried away. <laughs> so that's the top of him. Yeah. But I thought we'd just have fun and I'd show you how to make the little pumpkins around the front as well. Great. Which again, magically, is the same cutter. So we're going to go in with a little bit of orange. For me, orange, green and purple. Yeah. Those are your spectacular colours. So pulling a little bit out, making sure you're wrapping it up so that it stays nice and soft, giving it a little bit of a knead just to bring it up to room temperature so that it's nice body heat and it's perfect to use. Rolling out. So I've done one big shape, one big pumpkin and two little pumpkins. And it's exactly the same shape as the eyes. I'll just, ooh, it's getting warmer in here, so the paste is getting softer and softer and softer. So I'll just move it around again. You can put a little bit of icing sugar down if you're stuck. So I'm going to cut out one big pumpkin and two little pumpkins. And I sort of wiggle it around. I mean, you can cut straight down and just disregard everything else, but... Um, I go if you you learn to spin it round so that you get the maximum amount of paste out. There we go. Just clean it up, and again take your paste not only to clean your board, but just to pick up any little ends so that your um, cutter is clean. And of course, hot soupy water yeah. at the end of a session, and you're good to go. So we've got pumpkins. Well, we've got ovals. They don't really look like pumpkins. So to turn them into pumpkins, you can either use the edge of the cutter to emboss them, which is what I've done with this little one. So I've used the edge of the cutter, which Very is cool. the, the big size. I actually used the little one in him. Mm. And you see, and it just goes in there, push in, and you can emboss. You don't quite cut through, you just no, make the... No, just, just press in the edge, and you can do that one. Or you can actually use the other end of your paintbrush. So you could draw it in if you felt like it. Mm. I'm gonna use the edge of the cutter because I just think it looks nice. And you can see how fast it is. And then on the little ones, I'm gonna use the edge of the little cutter. But instead of doing it that way, I'm gonna turn it round and just do it that way and emboss in Perfect. the little shape. 
And everybody thinks, oh, you're so clever. <laughs> Little do they know. <laughs> this is your ace up your sleeve. So a little bit of glue again. So because I know where these are going, I'm quite happy putting them. Mm. the glue onto the cake oh sorry just throw my paintbrush at you lift them up i should have used my palette knife pop them in place and then it's quite fun if you just squish the top down let me turn it around so you can see what i mean so to make it even more oval i'm just squishing the top down a little bit so that it makes it into a complete pumpkin shape them on and it just looks nice and interesting and then you can make a little um, uh, top to it the little stalk and the little leaves if you wanted to and you could even roll some little tendrils and mm. wind them round as well just to Brilliant. finish it off so you can start to see what you can start to do with a big one but it is quite amazing and I was actually just thinking that this shape would be perfect if you wanted fangs. Yeah. So if you coated him in true. black, you could put in some nice big fangs and you could do a semicircular mouth with the edge of the cutter. So you could just emboss in and then add two white fangs. Brilliant. And drip them with red. Whoa. <laughs> So there we go. Um, we've had a few comments coming in. So thank you all. Uh, hello to Rebecca. Um, to Leslie, Erica, who says hello from the north of Scotland. Yay! Jill says loving it. Max um, says those cupcakes are so cute, uh, which I agree. We're about to demo one of them actually. We are indeed. And um, Leslie, hello, she says, um, hi, enjoying the demonstration. Can I purchase the small rolling pin in Hobbycraft? And indeed. yes, you can. You um, and also, P.S. Love the spider. Ah, so what spider? <laughs> Is there a spider? Oh, I don't like spiders. Where's the spider? Um, so Leslie is watching in Plymouth. So oh, keep the comments fabulous. coming in. Um, oh, we've had a new one from Michelle who says, "I love both of these FMM cutters. You can create so many things from just a few simple shapes." Frankie is looking great. A perfect project for the children to join in with. Yes, we agree. So keep your comments coming in, and of course any questions that you have. Um, and we're gonna move on to the smaller cupcake now, aren't we? Before we do, I had a little experiment at home, and um, I've got my my niece coming to stay, oh, yeah. and. I tried rolling out some uh, of those little fruit slices and it cuts through fruit slices as well. Oh, cool. So um, if you did some detail, you could add some sweeties or some fruit slices mm -hmm. as well. So these are magical things. But when you start with the ready to roll, there's so many colors, you start getting so creative. It's just Absolutely. nice and easy. So Frankie, I'll put the big one down by you and we can move on to some cupcakes. So the pumpkin, as I've just explained, just so again the full circle cutter is on the other side from the shapes double-sided cutter yeah and you just cut out in orange and then emboss on the little lines not cutting straight through and then for the little triangles i used one of the little ear shapes and just cut out three triangles from mm. the ear shapes and did the eyes and the nose and for the mouth i cut out one of the big ovals and then just cut a little section from it. So I cut out like that, and then I moved the cutter up a little bit and cut him out a smile. And for the little leaves, I used the little oval and just pinched them in to right. make the top. So pumpkin, I would say if you were going to try out the cutter, start with a pumpkin because he's nice and simple. Mm. And then you can start going crazy daft. But my favorite one has to be the skeleton. because. Yeah. You can give him so many expressions. Um, it can look confused, it can look angry, it can look happy, it can look scary. Um, and I just think they're, they're really, really cute. So let me show you how to make one of those. So I just baked off some little cupcakes. I mean, I made um, chocolate ones and then popped a little bit of the frosting on top. And you can do it with a knife or a spoon and try to make them just smooth them out. Don't mm. spend too long because you can pop the lid on and it really won't matter. So you don't have to have great icing skills for this, yeah. frosting skills. So that's quite good for beginners then, isn't it? Perfect. And also the kids can be doing that while you're prepping everything else. Perfect. 
So we're going for a little bit of the white as our base coat for this. Um, so again, just knead it up to temperature. I think this is the question I get asked most um, about sugar paste mm. is, oh, I take mine out the packet and it's a little bit hard, but all you need to do is give it a little, show it some love. Even though it's Halloween, show it some love and then you're ready to go. This is going to be a grey skeleton because um, <laughs> Jackie didn't clean her hands in between. So we're going for a spooky grey skeleton. And speaking of the ready to roll icing um, from Renshaw, we have a really, really popular giveaway that's live on our page right now. Oh, this is fantastic. It's going absolutely nuts. It's um, pinned to the top of our Facebook page. And um, it's basically the colours of the rainbow in Renshaw ready to roll icing. Um, so it's over £50 worth of the product. And we're giving one lucky winner the chance to have it all. Um, and it's super easy to enter as well. You just need to uh, leave a comment in the on the post. Uh, answering the question and you could um, be in with a chance of winning and we're going to just pick a winner at random entries close on the 20th of October so good luck um, you have got, every chance to win so you've got to be in it to win it exactly so it's definitely worth entering so do check that out so such a great prize it really is stocking filler it looks great as well because we like fanned it all out in a, it's beautiful it's just brilliant <laughs> it's like I've got that one I've got yeah. that one I've got to go buy that one yeah <laughs> so I've used the large circle cutter on one side to cut out the base face for the skeleton yeah and then I've used the tiny little circle and as you cut it out give it a little wiggle it gets jammed in there so very high tech I use the end <laughs> of my paintbrush and pop it out brilliant and so it's nice and easy. Store that out of the air so that it doesn't harden up. Give it a little swipe, pick it up. And because you've got your frosting, you don't need any glue. You can just drop it on top, Perfect. center it up. And then I go around with the edge of my hand and I just tap down at the edges. But if you're going to pipe, and this pipes beautifully, if you're going to pipe a big swirl because you're a buttercream lover and have to admit I might be, um, you can just put him up, put him on a dome, and it looks wonderful as well. So we've got this talk about a blank expression. So we need Not to get long. some features on him. So we actually cut out the two little round ones earlier, sorry, oval ones earlier, and that was the middle size from this one. But actually, I realize I need to make them a little smaller, so I'm just going to use the oval from the small cutter and they're lovely and neat but look doesn't that make the perfect mouth there we go you've got to keep your your eyes peeled really haven't you because any little scraps can you can work into something different <laughs> Tan, get silly now so a little bit of glue onto the back and because it's fresh paste you don't need to do very much glue okay and i'm going to do these eyes facing out like this because i I think he looks lovely like that. Hello to Jane, who says some great ideas, loving the cutters. Yes, please go and check them out. Um, and Lindsay says, are the FMM cutters available in store? I couldn't find them today in Glasgow, loving the oh, demo. Definitely. So um, yeah, keep your eyes peeled. They should be um, coming to all Hobbycraft stores. If not, the small one is available online right now um, and stay tuned for the larger one. They're hanging up. So they're in a packet hanging up if anybody's yeah. searching in store for them. Yeah, they come in like a little packet, don't yeah. they? So I've popped them down. When I made these earlier, just a little bit practice before I came on here, I actually hid a smarty underneath the eyes because I thought it would be quite nice to bite in and have a smarty hidden under them. So he's looking a little bit scary already, yeah. but we can make him scarier. And again, this is where your double-ended pen comes in. Mm -hmm. This is your rainbow dust double-ended pen. And it's edible ink, so please don't go off using a Sharpie because it won't taste very nice. So we're going to give them a bit of a wiggly mouth and then pop the little stitches on. Sorry, I should be doing this round so that you can look at it. We can see it on that camera as well. Oh, top, of course. So. <laughs> we get, we're We've got so many cameras. I it's know, just... it's just positively spoiled here. <laughs> and again popping in the eyebrows for expression yeah so i think i'm gonna do him as a little bit of a confused guy oh we could do one up one down see there's no rules and then just a final little dot 
So you can do a dot or a V. But super simple and yeah. very, very effective. And I just love those ones. Absolutely. Um, we've had another question about the ready to roll. So hello to Gem uh, Emma, sorry, Emma Jane, uh, who says, I need these cutters. They are amazing. Yes, please check them out. Um, she asks, what is the best way of storing the ready to roll so it lasts a while? So I tend to, because it's in lovely thick plastic, that's always the winner for me. So I pop my little bits in, wrap it up in the plastic and then pop it inside a plastic bag as well. Okay. And then you're good to go. And as long as you're using a nice thick plastic bag, it lasts for ages. So this one's good till June 2020. So, but it'll have gone by then. <laughs> I was going to say, that's <laughs> if it lasts that long. <laughs> Absolutely. So there's Mr. Skeleton. But right. you start to get really creative. Literally, once you've done one or two of these, your brain starts to go crazy daft. And there's so much inspiration. Pinterest. Yeah. Um, on the Hobbycraft website, exactly. all sorts of things. That I we came up with a little bat. So the bat wings are actually made from the round, large cutter that's on the one side. So I just cut a circle out, chopped it down the middle to make two wings, and then used the little oval to cut out either side. Mm. And if you've got all the choice of colours in that amazing bundle, yes. Um, you can pick your colours and you can just go have a wonderful time. So to sit the eyes on top of the nose, so I made them a big nose for this one. I used a large oval. I just used the edge of the oval to cut away the white in the eyes. And again, the little blacks in the eyes are made from the small one and just chopped in half. The little fangs comes from the wing... Uh, the wing shape or the mm -hmm. ear shape if you're making a little fish it does make a gorgeous little fish so there's the body of your fish there's the tail oh, of your yeah. fish and a fin as well and the little eye and you can i was stuck for some cookies <laughs> so you get little fish cookies but you start to literally you look at it and you start to see all these different things you can do with it Absolutely. it's amazing so just let the bat wings firm up a little so as i was saying always wrap up your paste but if you let them firm up a little on your work board and then you pick them up and stick them down, mm. then they will. Mine are going rather limp in the heat. But I think you'd still fly. But you can start to have great fun. And these are just a few of them. But these are all shapes from the cutters. No, no hand modelling. So if you think, oh, I'm not artistic, trust me, you will become artistic with this magic little tool. These FMM cutters are... Just genius. They're a game changer, aren't they? <laughs> they are. They really are. So, um, yes, Absolutely please do check are. them out. And don't forget to um, hashtag make it scary. As you can see up here, that is our Halloween hashtag. So, we want to see what you've been making. Um, leave your pictures in the comments or share them with us through Instagram or Twitter um, because we love getting inspired by our customers and our audiences. So, um, get involved. Uh, we also have the Hobbycraft Baking Challenge, which is open until the end of the month. Um, so stay tuned there's lots more details coming about that we've had so many entries we are absolutely inundated um, but we the prize for that is actually two tickets to cake international 2019 um, there's also, I'll be there yes uh, and there's a Renshaw baking bundle in there and there are also runner-up prizes so it's worth entering um, the hobbycraft baking challenge you can hashtag hobbycraft baking challenge um, to enter as well or you can head over to our online portal where you can upload your image um, so yeah, lots of opportunities to win. We've got so many baking prizes and goodies up for grabs um, throughout our Great British Bake Off campaign. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed the demonstration today. Absolutely. It's been great fun. Thank you, Jackie, for joining us. Pleasure. Keep coming with your questions. I'll keep answering them. Yes. Yeah, so if you do have any more, if you're watching at a later stage, um, we can come back in and answer them um, through the comments. And thank you all for tuning in. Um, we really appreciate it. And we'll see you again next time. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye.